There was a quarter-final tie in the National League Cup at Sevilla on Friday evening that had just about everything. Goals, a red card, and penalty controversy. The under-15 sides involved were those of Ridgeway Rovers and Coleraine, and they were evenly matched in the early stages, just half chances at either end. Coleraine's number eight, Jordan McEnough, did come close from distance, just wide of the post. The first drama of the night came on 16 minutes. The Bandsiders goalkeeper, Richard Purcell, seeing red for deliberate handball outside the area, denying a goal-scoring opportunity. Ridgeway immediately set about testing the standing keeper, pulled from an attacking role to deputise between the sticks. They nearly found the first goal with a long-range free kick from Sam Dinu. Came back off the crossbar. Corrine then thought that they had scored. An angled ball into the box and a lofted finish, but it was rightly rolled out for offside. Ridgeway got the opener on 33 minutes. A free kick flicked on and Aprian Mapoir provided the finish. Free kick was also the source of Corrine's equaliser. An excellent hit from McEnough making it 1-1. But Ridgeway did still hold a one-player advantage, and when Connor Curran was fouled in the box, Jack Thompson had a prime opportunity to restore the lead from the penalty spot. Another dramatic moment, the ball appearing to cross the line, but the referee didn't see it that way. Ridgeway players kept their heads though, and were 2-1 up a few minutes later, Curran the player who had won the penalty, drilling home from the edge of the box. Corian then had to go in search of another equaliser. Scott Pengali went in bravely at the feet of striker Luke McKendry. And then a headed chance was deflected away, seemingly off another Corian player's head. Ridgeway sealed their semi final place with Sam Harper's strike catching out the standing keeper. Final score, 3-1. Um, well, Kiamer had everything. Uh, goalkeeper sent off, missed penalties, crossbars, lots of chances weren't taken. Cody were always in the game. Probably we had a wee bit of luck towards the end, kind of scored a third one and that kind of put them to bed. All in all, kind of what we needed, because we've been unlucky the last few weeks, and maybe that's a turning point in our season, so hopefully it almost not work for us, but a little bit unfortunate for Cody with the goalkeeper, but say, that's, that's football. I was slightly disappointed, but um, we were unfortunate. Our keeper got sent off quite early in the game, and we, didn't have, we don't have a substitute goalkeeper, so we had to put one of our attack-minded players in goal and it sort of took away from what, what we try and do. And To be fair, we got back in the game with a great free kick and it just wasn't to be on the night, but we'll move on. Happy enough with how the boys cope with the, the 10 men? Now, there was large spells where we were quite good um, with 10 men, but I suppose you don't, you don't count for losing your goalkeeper. And I suppose, in fairness, they give everything they had, it just wasn't enough on the night, simple as that.